Hello Motor Rider World fans and what you are about to see and hear in this video review are sights and sounds I have only dreamt about since the first time I heard about the Suta MMX500 many years ago. Never in my wildest dreams did I think I would ever swing my leg over one, but dreams do come true as they say. The Suta MMX500 is a Swiss masterpiece built by hand in Switzerland. A 500cc two-stroke GP bike that was built to circulate a racetrack as quickly as possible. This is no ordinary 500cc two-stroke from days gone by. Duan, Swan, Spencer, Rainey can all eat their hearts out and wish they had a Suta 500 at their disposal back in the day. This thing features a 576cc fuel-injected four-cylinder V4 two-stroke engine that pushes out 195 horsepower. Eskil Suta told me at the track that building the engine from scratch is the hardest part of this project and takes a very long time. The suspension is from Olin's, the brakes are from Brembo, the wheels are from Oz and the carbon fiber bits are from a bodywork specialist. The rest is solely their own. The aluminium frame and swing arm, the double counter rotating crankshaft, the V4 motor, the dry clutch, the cassette gearbox, the electronics and fuel injection all bolted to a chassis that hardly moves a scale weighing in at only 127 kilos dry. This particular red machine that I tested is Eskil Suter's own personal bike, which he had sent out here to South Africa to do some riding as he spends a lot of time in SA. It's also the machine that competed in the Isle of Man TT races a few years back with rider Ian Locker. Check out the TT scrutineering sticker still on the frame. a good old push start to get things going. Climbing on the suit to 500 felt surreal and my first couple of laps out were a blur as I was overwhelmed by the experience. I was on a suit to 500, I mean, holy shit. Once I composed myself and got the joker smile off my face, I started to take note of the riding experience. The first thing that caught my attention was the braking. Stopping power like no other from the Brembo system. Rear wheel in the sky stuff and it wasn't on purpose, I can promise you that. Solid bite and feel from the word go and no brake fade whatsoever. The bike is tiny as expected and very light and compact. I had to adjust my 85 kilo chassis somewhat to get comfortable. The gearing was set for Magello's long, fast, sweeping symphony, total opposite to the Red Star track so the stroker was hampered somewhat by the tall gearing. Nevertheless, this thing was stupid fast once it got going. Hold on with everything you've got. It ran away from some fast modern day superbikes on track, including our Ducati Panigale 1299 race bike. First gear in just about every corner was needed. This meant there was a vicious power band ready to strike. Short shifting was very much the name of the game, as you can hear from the onboard videos. The Suta 500 features a quick shifter changing up through the gears, another asset Duan and Co could only dream of having on their 500 strokers. Shifting up through the gears using the quick shifter was easy, while banging down using old school clutch was also a breeze, and the flawless Suta dry clutch kept everything in check. Handling was so precise and sharp, if anything it was too much. Once the bike was in a corner on a certain line it wanted to stay there. It was stubborn mid-turn. Get it right first time or suffer was the feeling I got from the bike. It also begs you to go fast and if you don't, it turns into an angry sugar high kid wanting more sweets. It almost felt as if it got impatient while I was going slow so to speak. Only once I started thrashing it did it enjoy my company and that's when the fun really began. All good things sadly must come to an end but I was not sad, I was very happy. I got to live out one of my dreams of riding a 500cc stroker. And not just anyone, a Suta MMX 500. I want one so badly and have done the maths. If I sell my house, my car, all my MotoGP collectibles, both kidneys, part of my brain and my soul, I can afford to buy one at just over 2 million Rand. Hmm. I'm keen. Where do I sign?
Now tell me that's not bike porn at its finest. I hope you enjoyed this video review. Now sit back and enjoy the sights and sounds of this slightly chubby 39-year-old journalist going around the Red Star Racetrack on a suit of 500.